Namaskar, good morning. So we'll work together on some Kundalini energy activation with a couple of Kundalini Kriyas that are pretty much always reliable when you need to make a shift in your life to practice either to practice Sat Kriya and Kirtan Kriya can essentially ensure that that shift happens. And so we'll begin with our slow, deep breathing to tune into the body. And then we'll start with the Adi Mantra, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. So breathing, filling the diaphragm, filling the belly and connecting first to that lower belly center, the lower abdominals and the sacral area where the kunda is coiled. And this energy, this energy of the Shakti force of the Ida coiled up, waiting to be awakened, sits at this base of the pelvis, at the pelvic floor in the sacrum. And when you tune into her, maybe you feel a little bit of a clicking into the hips or a sinking into the ground. So breathe into the lower body and feel maybe just the legs getting a tiny bit heavier or the hips softening a tiny bit more <clears throat> and you grow your spine a little bit taller. And with your next inhale, bring the palms up above head and put the hands together into Anjali Mudra prayer and pull them down to your heart with your exhale. Breathing here and we'll tune in with the Adi Mantra Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. Deep inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Namo. Big breath in and a big breath out, <sighs> letting the mantra surround the field, tuning into that golden chain of teachers. And we'll be working first with Kirtan Kriya. So you'll activate the four mudras of the hands, so thumb and index finger and then following through each of the fingertips with the syllables of sa with the thumb and index of ta with the thumb and middle finger na with the thumb and ring finger and ma with the thumb and pinky and i relate these to infinity or creating the infinite loop like our chin mudra infinity life death and rebirth as we're honoring the cycles of all the elements moving in our bodies and throughout the nervous system. And each of these points activate a different part of the nervous system to allow different forms of detoxification, as well as activation for the brain body connection. So we'll be going through sa ta na ma for three minutes like that. And then three minutes at sort of a whispery sa ta stage whisper kind of deal and then from there we go into the mantra in our hearts so it becomes silent but you still visualize the words or the syllables coming through the heart coming through the throat and then we're in there for two and a half minutes then you go back up to the whisper back up to the voice and then um out of the meditation so this one is really good for charging your intuition cleaning the aura and expanding the aura, charging the intuition and also charging your willpower and your power to express the voice because you're working with 
the connection of the vocal cords, the throat and the vibration of sound and the connection of the mudras as well as the belly activation with the slight belly button um, coming into the spine with each syllable. So even when you're sort of singing the words, you're going to sa tuck a slight Uddiyana Bandha with the syllable as you go, which activates the navel center, activates willpower, intuition, and balances the nervous system as well on, on its own, <clears throat> kind of like when we practice breath of fire. So I, I also like to pick an intention for this one of where do I need to be more clear in my, in my life? Like what, is, what do I need clarity on right now? So calling in the ability to see more clearly in all situations. So beginning with the index and thumb together on sa. Sa ta na ma. 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 Sata Nama 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 A whisper Sata Nama And really getting that belly pump into it now Sata Nama Really pushing the air out on the ah of each sound Sigh. <sighs> 
sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa Trying to keep the rhythm of the mudras and the belly pumping together, but bringing the mantra into your heart, resonating it through the heart and throat chakra, but in your mind's eye. <clears throat> So this becomes kind of like a bastrika breath where you have a inhale and then a pumping out exhale. Then I like to use the sound of the slight constriction in the back of the throat with the exhale to resonate the syllables without saying the syllables. Excuse me. <laughs> and bringing the voice back in, sa ta. Nama Sata 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 Satanama Satanama Sat 
Sadhana 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 Deep inhale Big sigh Inhale, big sigh, inhale, big sigh, release any mudras, maybe wiggle the fingers and shake the arms out a little bit, and then make your way onto your hands and knees. So we're going to do a little waking up Kriya to transition into Sat Kriya. So starting with some spinal flexes, cat cows, get the body moving. Pumping the energy through the spine, connecting to Shashumna, finding a rhythm that works for your breath. Opening up the heart and the shoulders. Getting a bit of rhythm in there. Rocking the spine, activating the core. And coming into stillness, deep inhale. Exhale, hands beneath the shoulders, fingers spread strong, toes tucked behind you, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog, tucking the belly button in. So you're going to hold that strong core and here we're going to pedal the feet out first. And then you want the feet just slightly wider than hips width distance, not 100% in line with hips width distance, but a tiny bit wider. And you're going to have strength in the hands. And what we're going to do is just bend the knees down, send the seat back, and then come back up, downward facing dog. Bend the knees down, send the seat back, but you don't ground all the way in. Yeah, there you go. And then back up, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, seat back, squishing in. Exhale, up, downward dog. Inhale, exhale, squishing down, strengthening, opening the hips and legs. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do 10 more of those from here. Then you can also make this faster if you feel or take it as slow as you wish. And when you're in your next downward dog, you can take a deep inhale here. Exhale, big toes together, step the knees wide, sink down into a wide-legged child's pose. <clears throat> stretch your arms out in front. Walk to the left to stretch the side body. Deep inhale, big breath out. Opening the lung channels, opening the rib cage. One more breath here. <sighs> Inhale, coming up onto the fingertips, walk the hands over. 
crossing the right thigh, hand sinking in, leaning to the right side, opening the left side waist. Deep inhale, big sigh. Inhale up onto fingertips, coming into center on your exhale. Uh, pressing your fingertips into the ground, lifting the chest, roll the shoulders back. So now here you want a um, cow pose with the upper body, but the wide-legged child's pose with the knees and hips. And you're just going to breathe here for five breaths. Really fill the lower belly. Really feel into the sacral chakra and the hip flexors, the psoas. And then from here, just start to walk the fingertips back. And bring the knees together. <clears throat> And one more thing before we get into our Sat Kriya. So you're going to do the temple mudra. So index fingers come aligned with each other. Thumbs cross either left over right or right over left, whether you feel to balance your feminine side today or your masculine side today. Left over right for feminine, right over left for masculine. And we're going to bring the temple mudra above the head as if it's a bit of a sword. And I want you to think of an obstacle in your life or a connection that you no longer need. And we're going to cut that away, inhaling up on sat, exhaling down on nam. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. Chopping away all the old. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. Cutting cords to connections no longer serving you. Sat, nam, sat. Sat na 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 sat sat na 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 sat Inhale, temple mudra up above the crown. Long spine, big breath out. Okay, so transitioning into sat kriya now. So on sat, the belly goes in really strong. On nam, the belly relaxes. The arms stay up and strong. Shoulders rooted, long, tall spine. And you want that whole torso to stay solid and strong, the shoulders to stay rooted, but the belly to go in on sat, relax on nam. Sat, nam, sat, nam. And if you run out of breath, feel free to take a moment to return to a half breath, nam. But otherwise the air comes in on its own. Sat, nam, sat, nam. Sat, nam, sat, nam. This kriya clears the lower three chakras, nam. Sat, nam, and allows us to tune in to our deeper intuition and forces us to break through emotional barriers. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. We'll do three minutes, sat, nam. Sat, nam, 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 Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, 
सत नाम 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 सत सत नाम 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 डीप इन हेल बिग साय इन हेल लाइन्स ब्रेथ टू मोर इन हेल Exhale, slowly lowering the temple mudra down in front of the heart, so hands are still clasped, <laughs> and slowly lowering them down in front of the heart, and then down to the thighs. And seated here, we'll switch to some spinal flexes. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, tucking spine behind. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, back of heart behind you. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, back of heart. There you go. And as you go through this movement, just start to notice the little bit of difference in the spine, and any energies, subtle lightnesses or pulses in the energy body. Maybe your solar plexus or core feels different after that meditation. Maybe your chest or shoulders feel different, and just feel how your spinal flexing is different from our first little cat cow warm up that we did after the kirtan kriya. Sometimes it just takes moving energy to create openness in the body, and not as much movement to create openness in the body. Thirty more seconds. And coming into stillness, deep inhale, big sigh. <sighs> and we'll do our last little kriya before shavasana. So this is one to open and charge the heart chakra, and you can come down into uh, sukhasana if you wish. You can stay in hero pose if you wish too, but it's up to you. And um, basically, this is simple. It's two. It's linga mudras on both hands, so thumbs up, and you're pumping the energy of the heart with the double fists. And we're basically just going to be punching away heart barriers. <laughs> so if you feel like there's something stopping you right now, see it in front of you, and you're breaking it. And the movement itself is clearing the shoulders. And charging the whole cardiovascular complex. 
So it's with the left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. <laughs> Not that it matters too much which hand is first because eventually it just keeps going. And again, a breath of fire belly pump each time the fists come forward. Elbows tucked into the sides. There you go. And then looking up and out your third eye. Envisioning all of your barriers being broken with self-love. Deep inhale, tuck the elbows into the ribs, point the thumbs up, breathing here. And then inhale, coming into a 60 degree angle with the arms and we'll do one minute of ego eradicator. So continuing your breath of fire. Deep inhale, exhale, bringing the thumbs together above head, slowly drawing them down in front of you and placing the hands down on the knees for a moment, taking three breaths here to settle back in. And on your next inhale, Stretch your legs out wide into a wide-legged seated forward fold. If it's available to you, bring peace fingers around big toes. If not, you can place your hands on your ankles. And then wherever you end up, whether hands are on shins or ankles, even if you need to have them on your thighs, then you're going to lean forward, open the chest, pull the shoulders back and down, and begin breath of fire. <clears throat> this charges the root chakra and sacral chakra and clears energy from the backs of the legs.
deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands underneath the chest and let your spine round, fold in as far as you can. Maybe you come onto the elbows, whatever works for you. And breathe into those hip flexors, breathe into those hamstrings, those quads, the calves, the Achilles tendon. Flex your feet and envision in beams of energy going out from the center of both of the feet as if your legs become light beams. And just breathe here, 10 slow, deep, full belly breaths. On your next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands back and your spine back up straight. And bring the legs back in together in front, stepping the feet out a little wider than hips width distance, planting your hands on either side of, of the hips and windshield wipering side to side. <clears throat> And again, noticing the subtle differences. For me, after that stretch, I generally feel a sudden lightness in the top of my head or around my forehead, like somehow clearing the legs clears the crown. I don't know if that's a real thing, but <laughs> that's what it does for me. So I don't know what differences you notice, but feel into them now as you move through the hips a little bit and distribute the energy in the lower spine. And then we're going to bring the knees together, hands on top of the shins at the, oh, at the, where the shins and the knees meet, and then roll yourself back onto your spine, rolling along the whole channel of Shashumna. And just giving yourself some time to do maybe 11 back and forth rolls and then switch to roll side to side a few times <clears throat> and really massage out that spine awakening shushumna. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then when you come into stillness, this one that just came to me now, I've never really understood it, but you're just going to kick your, <laughs> kick your butt with your heels. And you do that for a minute. <laughs> and I think it has something to do, I forget what it is. It has something to do with kicking the energy up from the lower spine. And you're actually activating something in the lower body that moves energy and moves tension from the 
sacroiliac joint. So apparently, but also it's fun. So I like to do it anyways. And you start with the alternating legs and then it gets kind of funny where you try and kick your own seat, own seat bones with your two feet together. So taking a moment, deep inhale, big sigh, sending the legs up in the air, breathing here, five breaths. And then this is the one that I find really funny uh, that you bring both your heels down at the same time to try and hit the seat. And they might not hit the seat, but that's your intention. Yeah, exactly. Like that. <laughs> and then we'll do that for one minute. And I forgot to mention it's inhale, legs up, exhale, heels in. But you probably figured that out. You have to breathe somewhere. <laughs> That's a funny thing about yoga. It's all like, breathe, breathe, breathe in. And it's like, well, yeah, I kind of have to breathe to exist. <laughs> Okay, inhale, legs in the air, big sigh, <sighs> lower the legs down, bring the feet as wide as the mat, and bring your arms out as wide as the mat, coming into a star pose. <sighs> And you can make the feet and arms wider if you feel. And then asking your body, do I need a twist? Do I need an inversion? Where am I at before I Shavasana myself? Checking in and seeing if there's anything you need to make yourself comfortable for relaxation or if there's anything you need to give your body a little bit more openness for relaxation. And then when you are ready, you can allow yourself to settle in for Shavasana. And as you sink into the ground and prepare your body to relax, wherever you are in your position, let the energies of calm and peace and relaxation, the energy of integration, to flow from the top of your head, down through your spine, down through the legs, down through the feet. This energy of calm, of lengthening and opening, of peace and relaxation, of sinking in to the parasympathetic nervous system. I allow myself to rest. I allow myself to let go. I allow myself to rest. I allow myself to let go. Just allowing the body to settle with this blue calming, cooling light from the crown down through the forehead and the third eye and the jaw, letting your jaw soften, letting the chin and neck soften, 
Letting the shoulders root in, grounding the spine. The pelvis and the hips softening. All the muscles of the legs, maybe one little bubble at a time, softening, relaxing in. The feet fall out naturally and the whole body becomes one with the earth beneath, allowing Shavasana. And now a golden light is going to start to circle up from the center of the feet. This gold light rising around the ankles and the shins up to the knees, maybe a tingling or a bubbling, awakening sensation. Maybe you stretch the toes, pointing the toes and flexing the feet maybe reaching the arms above head, wiggling the fingers, getting back into your body, awakening the body. Taking the time that you need to wiggle open, stretch open, take a deep inhale. <sighs> and feel the capacity of your lungs expanded from your practice this morning and take your time to maybe roll to one side and come up to a seat or perhaps roll back and forth on the spine and come up to a seat listening to what feels right for you. And meeting back in our Sukhasana or whichever comfortable seat calls to you, <clears throat> bringing the hands into prayer. And just ask yourself, what do I need today? And choose a feeling or an intention that you will carry with you from your practice. Maybe you feel more energized now, so I will bring energy with me through my day. Or maybe you feel more open, I will bring openness with me through my day. Whatever calls to you in this moment to carry from your practice into your life, bring it with you. We often do our practice, do our yoga, do our thing on our mat, and then get up and immediately check our phone, look at the shopping list, make a food thing, do a something or something. <laughs> and that is not necessarily maintaining the yoga of our practice. 
So how can you carry the energy, the essence of this practice forward into your day? Set that intention now. And we'll send it out there with Sat Nam. Deep inhale. Big sigh. <sighs> inhale to long Sat, short Nam. Sat Nam. Two more times. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Namaste May the essence of intuition and truth walk with you through your day today. Blessed be.